Hey guys, it's Tony here from Game Freak Rock again, bringing you another video. It has been a week since the beta for the Medal of Honor Warfighter has been released. We have had a week's worth of goodness, we've had a week's worth of pleasure, we've had a week's worth of pain playing through the beta of this game. Um, I've not stuck all of that much time in it because there's only so much you can do with one map in my eyes. I pretty much know this map like the back of my hand at this moment in time. Um, so I just wanted to give out a few little things that I liked, a few things that I disliked about the beta, and I'm going to give you my reasons for why I'm not going to be buying the game on launch. Um, so I've had a few games uh, with various people off Twitter, with various people on my YouTube channel, various people on forums as well, and um, we've put some hours in, and the, the things that we liked about it was such, well, me in particular. I kind of do like the buddy system in the game. I think that it's a good way of getting you straight back into the action again. Um, you know, it's, it's not just something where you kind of spawn eight miles back a la home front. Um, the... the the map is fairly small on this, so you know, you know you're never too far away from the action or whatever. Anyway, but I did think that the buddy system was quite well worked out. Um, the way that your buddy has got to kind of stay in cover to get you to spawn in, it kind of I don't know if you've got a good buddy with you and you've got that communication and that teamwork, you can really play the buddy system to its advantage. So um, I did really like that. Um, another thing that I liked about the game was the, I hesitate to call it kill streaks, but I guess that's, we all know what we're talking about when I call them kill streaks. The way that you've got an offensive and a defensive kill streak, I thought that was a really good touch. Again, they did do it in the original Medal of Honor. So there you can see, you can call in a smoke screen to kind of help your troops, help your squad, or you can call in the um, uh, black, um, black, I was going to say blackbird then, but you do while well parasending out of a fucking blackbird with... The Black Hawk, sorry, helicopter. Um, I did like that touch that you, you can kind of play the kill streaks to the, the play style that suits you. If you just want to be completely all out offensive or if you want to do more supportive actions in the game, I did think that was a very, very nice way of kind of messing about with the kill streaks and everything like that. Um, the classes that are in the game, I have to admit, I only really played uh, as the kind of heavy gunner that you can see me playing here, the LMG and the assaultier type troop. I didn't try out any of the faster paced scout characters or anything like that because uh, it's just not it's, it's not my kind of style. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a supporter, more of an assaultier class person than a kind of recon. Um, so I, d I did kind of like the classes that I played. I did tend to stick with the LMG more than anything else because I just kind of got used to how it recoiled and everything like that, even though you're not really seeing me playing well in this slow, plodding, boring game that you're seeing here. But this was essentially the last game that I got, so I just thought I'd put it on. The things that I didn't like about the game, I think, if you just look at the screen here, the, the, the HUD, the amount of information that is on the screen, is it's too much. It's just too much. It's it's trying to tell you too much um, at any one given time. The, the, there's just no real reason why that kind of stuff has to be on there. I mean, why the the, the, the five objectives that you see in the top middle that you've got to kind of get, you know, you, you need to get two, uh, three to uh, win the match. Why they couldn't just flash up when you've actually uh, uh, achieved the goal that you're aiming for and then disappear. I just don't see any reason why it's got to be constantly reminding you at the, at the top. It's, it's no more kind of stupid than just flashing up whenever you take one or flashing up whenever one has been taken. The, the text is just far too small. Uh, I have a colossal TV and I, I, I still have to kind of lean forward to see exactly what it is that they're saying. There's, there's too much on the interface, it's just too cluttered. They, they, they really do need to kind of like reduce it down because there's too much information on there at all. Um, and the, the, again, one of the things that I know has been uh, the bane of everybody that I've spoken to about playing this is the spawn killing. The spawn killing in this game was absolutely atrocious. There, were, there was one game that I had on it where I may as well have not have even... I'm not the kind of player that, you know, just boots myself out of a game just because I'm, 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 I'm failing, I'm getting killed. I always stick a game through to the end, but the spawn killing on this was absolutely atrocious. I've had lots of people saying to me, oh, you know, they will sort it out because it is only a beta. But the thing is, it, it, I hear people saying this all the time, that it's only a beta, it's only a beta. The game's out in two weeks. The game is done. The game is finished. 
you know, it's pretty much this is the game that you're going to be getting at full retail. There is the um, news that came out that it is going to be shipping with a HD texture pack, which you can install. I know, I th I'm sure that's the case for the PS3, so I'm assuming it's going to be the case for the Xbox as well, just as it was with Battlefield 3. Um, so there's every chance that the graphics might take a little leap in fidelity. I'm expecting there to be a huge post-release patch. I think there's going to be a day one patch for this game. They've, they've got to have put this beta out to get a little bit of feedback, but it's essentially feedback now that the game is finished. The game is not really going to change. The reason why I'm not buying it is just because the last uh, Medal of Honor game, it was the support post-release was absolutely horrendous. I'm not going to buy it tonight. I'm not saying I'm ever going to buy it, not ever buy the game. I may get it when it turns out to be good, but on day one of release, it can go and flip. So guys, sorry the video ended there before I stopped talking. Tony here from Game Free Blog. That is my reason what I liked, what I didn't like about Medal of Honor Warfighter and why I'm not going to be buying it on release. So what did you think? Did you play the game? Did you enjoy it? Did you think the game was fantastic? Are you basically just going to be going for uh, the usual Call of Duty? Anything like that. Tell me what you thought about Medal of Honor Warfighter Beta. So guys, Tony here from Game Free Blog, signing out for another video, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.